Welcome to part one of our wavy logo design using Canva and PhotoP. Part one, we're going to be using our smartphone. Part two, we're going to be using a laptop. Big shout out to Stan the Plumber who's inspired today's video. You can find him on Instagram. He is one of the plumbers in South Africa. We're saying shout out to our South African entrepreneurs. Stan, keep up the good work. Step one, you're going to open your logo canvas, your blank logo canvas. Then you're going to select create a blank canvas. Once the canvas has opened up, you're going to go to the bottom of the page and you're going to select text and you're going to add your text. And then you're going to write the name of the business in nice and big and bold. And then you're also going to change the color and make it whatever color you want. We're going to duplicate the text so that we can put Maps' slogan and we're going to reduce the font size at the bottom of the page so that the slogan is smaller. So we're going to change the color and make it blue because it's plumbing, it goes with water. I think blue makes just sense for the company. So we're going to change all of the text to blue and then we're pretty much done with step number one. The next thing in order for us to get to use the wavy effect, we need to download our text and make it a image or change it to image. So we're gonna go to share and we're gonna download it. And we're going to be using the PNG version and we're gonna select transparent background and we click on download. If you don't have transparent background, you're more than welcome to trial it for 30 days on my description below or you could use remove.bg or erase.bg. Once we're done with part number one, we're gonna click on the grid view to add the second page, and we're gonna double click on the page to open it this way. Then we're gonna upload the image that we just downloaded. We're gonna to go to our uploads and we're gonna select upload files. And then we upload maps PNG, and then the file or the image is uploaded. You're going to click on it to add it on our canvas. Then we're going to crop it nicely using our crop. And then we enlarge the company name. Cool. Now we're going to apply the wavy effect. We're then gonna select the image of the text that we've created. And we're gonna to go to effects at the bottom of the page. Now we're looking for liquify. So you're gonna scroll on your effects at the bottom of the page until you find the one that says liquify this pink and blue that beautiful color that's on there and then liquify is going to open up with different kinds of effects that are available so you could play around and have a look and see which one talks to you and which one you like and decide on the wave effect that you want to use i love this one that i found that's called wobble and it suits the, the brand and it suits what we're trying to achieve with a plumbing logo because we're trying to show our customers that we are liquid. We, you know, we run with water and it just looks absolutely stunning. And what you then do, if you don't like the way it's waving or the way it's wobbling, you just click on the settings to increase the wobbling or decrease the wobbling and make it the way that you want. So you could also size the wobbling, you know, so that it wobbles the way that you want. And once you're happy, you click on done. And that is how you make your text wavy on Canva. The last thing that you would do is to add a tap. With the next part two, we're going to create our own tap. But for today's lesson, we're going to go find a tap that I've found on Canva. And I've saved it on my start. So I'm just going to go on start just to save us time. And I'm going to add this nice tap that we found here. So we're going to put the tap so that it tilts and the water would be dripping on the plumbing. So you are a designer. So you play around with it and you can use your nudge. I love the nudge on the phone and so that it's dripping on the text like that. The last thing that I would do here is to change the color of the tap so that it suits the design color that we have picked. So I'm going to go to the colors and pick the color of the water 
and then so that when it drips on the logo itself the water is wobbly and the tap oh my goodness i love it we have a winner and that's pretty much your 2d logo that you've created on canva then the next step would be for you to download the design so it is page number two you're gonna click on share and click on download and then download a png a transparent background if you don't have transparent background again you're more than welcome to trial it for 30 days using my link below we're going to select page two and then we click on done your next step is to access photo p and then convert your 2d logo to a 3d in this lesson we're just going to be using psd templates i'm going to be creating a video teaching you the uploading using a psd from different kinds of websites because it has been highlighted to me that that is missing on our channel so i will address that we're going to go to mockups and then we look at the mockups that we can use on our templates we scroll down you know my favorite mockup is this one and you select the mockup you click on photo p the link and then it loads and once it's loaded you're going to click on layers the three lines and then you're going to double click on the checkout box where it says your logo and then you're going to hide the example go click back on the layers and then go load your 2d logo so you're going to go file open in place you're going to go to your files and then you find the file that you just designed from canva you align it then you're going to go file save as smart object and then you click once on the first tab so that it converts the file to 3d oh my goodness it's just absolutely stunning I love it. I absolutely love this wavy design. In order for you to download the design, you're going to go file, export as PNG or whichever format you want to export the design as. And then you can rename and call it whatever you want to call it. All you do now is to click on save. And voila, the design looks like that. We're bringing you a just for fun student has become a master feature in 2023. Some of my students are sending me their designs, so I just want to show you how their designs looks like and they've learned from me and theirs looks like this. This was done by Samuel Godwin. You can find him on Facebook under the name Samuel Godwin. Well done, Samuel. The student has become the master. <laughs> if you want to go watch another design that we did on the phone, click on the link above or you could find the video on the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I will see you on the next video.